Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'll be doing a quick review on this brand new air compressor. This is a model number A220B, and it's a 100 PSI portable air compressor. And the main reason why I bought it is because my other one that I had in my car broke. I was starting to pump this tire. I've actually had it for about two years, and it finally died on me. So um, I like having these systems because when you're out on the road, stranded, it's nice to be able to pump air in your tire. So let's get right into it. When you open up the box, this is what you get. So this is the bottom here, it has these rubber feet, four of them. And you have your 12 volt connector that you can plug into a cigarette outlet. And this is the attachment here that you put onto your tire valve and you also have another adapter that you can attach to this piece right here so here are some other pieces that it comes with here so you get these different fittings right here extra feet looks like these are for the led lights i could be wrong and then this is a little fuse the main reason why i like it is because it's supposed to be very powerful and it's a smart tire inflator. So what that means is you can set the tire pressure to what you want it to be at, and then it will actually pump it up to that desired pressure, and then it will stop automatically. Um, it also has an uh, LCD backlit digital display, LED flashlight, and independent on and off buttons. So we'll get right into it and plug it up and try it out. All right, so we're just gonna take a look at what my tire pressure is in my car. And let's go through the menu. So, that's what my tires are at right now. Got 34, 35, 32, 35. So this is what it looks like compared to the rim. It's not too big, it's a nice compact size portable tire air compressor. And this is the upper right hand side here where we saw that the tire pressure is pretty low. So we're going to go ahead and pump this one up. Let's go ahead and see how long this cord is. You got plenty of room. Let's see. This is with it fully extended out. I can almost touch the rear tires. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure this thing is off first. There's actually a switch right here. So that's off. Let's go ahead and find my cigarette lighter and stick it in there all right now all we have to do is give it some power okay so it has this bright LED in the front and you can actually turn that off back here there's a little button for that, just like that, pretty cool. And here goes the LCD screen right here. It's currently set to zero PSI, and then this is the on and off switch, so we'll just turn it on real quick just to test it out. That's what it sounds like. Let's see how it does stability wise, standing up on all fours. So it doesn't fall over, so that's nice. So let's go ahead and set the tire pressure to 36. Let's go to 36. 36. And that's where it's set. Let's go ahead and remove the cap. And okay, nice tight seal. And it's reading 32 to 31.5. And that's exactly what it was reading on my odometer. So let's go ahead and turn this on.
Wow, it actually cut off. So it actually cut off at 36 and now it says it's at 37. So that didn't even really take no more than about three minutes or so. I'm not really sure what the time is that I'm recording for, but so far I'm really impressed. Let's uh, see, so it's reading 37. So let's just go ahead and check what it shows on the car. Because I want it to be at 36, so it actually stops a little bit higher. Let's see here. Wow. 37, exactly what it said on, on the compressor. So that's pretty neat. So that is really nice. I mean, it pumps it up really quick, especially compared to my other one I had. So I really highly recommend this, this air compressor. I'm going to experiment here. Let me see what happens when we go on to this rear tire back here and I just leave it on that setting and I don't touch anything. Let's see what it does. This one's reading 35. So after pumping up all four tires, I basically found out that if you want the PSI to be exactly where you want it at, you need to set it one PSI lower than your goal. So if you want your PSI to be 36, you actually need to set it to 35. And just like you saw in this video here, when you pump it up to 36, it actually pumps up to 37. And all you have to do is just back off the air with a regular uh, tire pressure checker. And then you can just release some of the air out of the tire if, if it pumps it up too high. Let's check the speedometer real quick. Push this button over here. And what is it reading? Awesome. All the tires are at 36. All right, so it's time for a pull day. And what we're gonna do is we're going to try to pump up this inflatable with that tire air compressor that I showed you earlier. So we can go for a swim and chill out by the pool. All right, let's open up this bad boy. Cut these pieces here. So in this upper right hand corner here is where the valve needs to be pumped up at right here. So this time we're going to use the smart air compressor right here and we're not going to plug it up to the car uh, outlet. We're actually going to use my trolling motor battery right here. Oops. And we're going to plug it up. Let me see how much juice this thing has. Yeah, it's full. So let's plug it in here. Okay, reading zero PSI. We don't care about the PSI. We're just gonna pump this thing up until it is nice and plump. So this is where it's gonna blow up at. And it should fit inside here. Yep, that'll work. We're gonna take off this piece and we're going to put this piece on. All right. Let's lay this out here and we'll start with this top part here. So there goes the top part. All right, 10 minutes later, everything's pumped up. So I wouldn't recommend pumping an inflatable like this with a tire air compressor, but it will get the job done. This was just for demonstration purposes, but you can see it's all nice and plump now. 
Got a little cup holder there, and I guess you can put your feet over here, and you got your armrest and your backrest. So we're gonna go and throw this in the pool and enjoy the day. So folks, if you wanna check out this awesome product, just check out the link down in the description below and you'll be able to find out exactly where I bought mine from. But if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment below if you have any questions, subscribe and share this video. And as always, thank you for watching.